Over the course of the last year, um, since I was diagnosed with cervical cancer, um, my relationship with my mum has just deepened, really. She was the person that came to all my hospital appointments with me. Um, we listened to Boyzone in the car and sing, and she, she just always was the person to help me keep my spirits up. She slept in uncomfortable hospital chairs next to me. She never allowed me to ask the worst questions that were going through my mind, and she was just... She was incredible. On top of that, she was helping me look after my son. Um, but yeah, just, just to support and happy and a real joy to be around during the worst possible time. I literally couldn't have got through it without her. I think the scariest thing about being a mum is the responsibility you have to this wonderful little person that you've brought into the world. Um, I know myself during being diagnosed with cervical cancer, the responsibility I felt of not being able to physically be at home with Eddie and also thinking further to the future um, was hard. Um, I think you sort of think you're indestructible and, and you have that parenting head on and, and you just always want to be there for your children and then when you have to sit back and accept more help or, or not be the prime person that's putting them to bed each night or the person that can lift them, that's hard. So I think the scariest thing <laughs> about being a mum is undoubtedly the responsibility. Since becoming ill, I'm, I'm actually less strict about routine and my mum helps me out by taking Eddie to nursery of the morning. So each morning we get up and we have half an hour where we talk, where we hug, where we might just lie in bed and there's no rush. And I really try to start our day like that now because children don't understand structure and we've got to be to nursery on time or mummy's got to be at work. They don't understand those things. So. I have become a lot more relaxed um, as a mum and it definitely, it's definitely benefited our relationship actually just starting the day with no rush, no stress, just me and Eddie, exactly as it should be. Oh my goodness, since becoming a mum to Eddie I realised the abundance of patience that my mum must have had to have had with me. Eddie's only two and a half but I can't imagine getting to the teenage years and over 12 and it just gives me a lot more respect for my mum, for her patience, for her love, for her support, for all the things she must have given up in order to give me the lifestyle and, and just look after me and love me when I was younger. I'm, I'm so much more aware of, of the sacrifices that parents make. I think, I think becoming a parent yourself, you're, you have to be much more conscious about how you spend your time or things you buy for yourself. Because, because you want to, your whole life changes and your outlook on life changes. And um, yeah, I just realized how much my mum's life changed when she had me. Oh my goodness, I've had so many lovely mum moments with Eddie, but I think it was probably about six weeks ago and I was buttoning up his coat in the kitchen and he stopped me and he looked at me and he said, I love you, my mummy. And it was the first time he'd ever said it un unprompted. And I was so taken aback, I just looked at him and he said again, I love you, my mummy. And it's just moments like that where you just think, oh my gosh, I love you to the moon and back. Like, but yeah, when you see them developing their own personality and expressing their feelings and you realise that they love you almost as much as you love them, that's just, that's magic.